welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag video. Now, if you guys are new here, my name is Michaela, and I have a 10-month-old baby boy named Ryder. So this is everything that is in his diaper bag. Now, this diaper bag is actually from Amazon, and before we even get into anything, I do have a code that you guys can use at checkout to get a percentage off. So if you guys want to, you can go to the link in my description box and it will take you straight to the diaper bag and you can also use that code. So we're going to just go ahead and get right on in to what is in my diaper bag. Okay, so before I show you what's in my diaper bag, I'm going to show you what was sent with the diaper bag. So first off, there was this little bottle container, I guess. It's insulated. So you can keep it cold or warm, whatever you, room temperature, whatever you need. So I really like this. Um, Ryder's breastfed, so I don't really need to use the bottles. So I don't really use this. And then it also came with these stroller straps. So if you like to connect your diaper bag to your stroller, it came with these so you can do that. We have an Uppa Baby Mesa, Mesa, I'm not sure how you say it, but stroller. So it has like a basket kind of at the bottom so you can put the diaper bag down there. And I'm also like cautious of putting the diaper bag on the stroller because like what if you walked away or weren't right there and it fell backwards. So I don't particularly like using these, but if you do, they do come with it. Now... This diaper bag is, it's pretty, it's not like huge, but it is a great size. I'll actually leave the dimensions on the screen for you guys, and it will obviously be over on the Amazon page, but I love this diaper bag so much. I love the colors of it. It's like a gray and then an off-white. I love it so much, but there are like one, two, there's three compartments, but there's like 14 organized sections in this diaper bag so you can be a very organized with your diaper bag and I like to be organized so I love that and this back pocket right here is actually a laptop compartment and it's got a little strap right here so you can strap in your laptop and make sure it's secure now if you guys are new here I am moving to California my husband is in the military so when he comes home because he's deployed. We will be moving within a short amount of time. So we're going to be traveling to California, but also whenever we go to visit our family, I think having this laptop compartment will be so beneficial to me, especially because I do the YouTube. So I have to edit on my laptop and I'm also in college right now. So I'm going to have to do my assignments. So I love this so much. And then the one thing I would say about this diaper bag is it doesn't come with a changing table pad. So I'm using my Skip Hop one from my previous diaper bag, but that's just fine. And I actually put it back here because for one, it fits perfectly back here. And for two, it can cushion my laptop whenever I have my laptop in here. Okay, so I'll close that one. And I'll show you what's on the outside. So first, I have Ryder's little sippy cup. Of course, it's Mickey Mouse. He does drink water throughout the day. He breastfeeds in the morning and at night. He's not interested in breastfeeding during the day anymore. So he gets a sippy cup of water throughout the day. So there's nothing in it right now, but that's where I put that. And then I always bring a water bottle anywhere we go. Uh, we're not even really, we're not going anywhere right now because of everything going on. So this is more of like a, what would be in my diaper bag. I guess when I go to the store, my mom is here with me while my husband is deployed. So she will sit in the car with him and let him look around. So having everything in here is very beneficial to her whenever she's sitting in the car with him. But yeah, I don't take him out anywhere during this time. So this is just, this would be what's in my diaper bag when we go somewhere. And I guess it's what's in my diaper bag for when they sit in the car. But yeah, um, hopefully everything can go back to normal soon so I can show this diaper bag off. 
but we'll continue. So on the back, I have a Mickey Mouse hand sanitizer, of course. It is a uh, Disney brand, which I want to empty this out and put Germex because it does not smell good, but I love this, so yeah, but there's not very much Germex right now, so I can't do that, but I will do it at some point. And then there's these two pockets in the front. And you could put anything in here. You could put your keys, and it's like Velcro. You could put bottles if you wanted. And then there's this big, or not big pocket. It's very spacious, but I just have a baby food for when he would possibly need baby food. Whenever we were able to go out to restaurants, he wasn't able to like eat anything back then really. So I always brought baby food for him to eat that. And there are also, I'll show you. So this is that pocket. And there are also more bottle holders right here. I just have this part filled so you can't really get to it, but if you didn't, well, I guess you could still get to it. You just got to push it a little bit. So, yeah, you can fit some bottles in there. Um, again, Ryder's breastfed, so he does not use bottles. And then there is a little mesh pocket, and I have a Ziploc bag with a spoon for his baby food. And then I also have a Ziploc bag with a binky clip because these are essential. If you guys have not seen my baby must-haves video, I'll link it down below for you guys too and I'll leave a card for it, but I mentioned these. These are essential if you don't want your baby to throw their binky on the floor or in the car and not be able to get to it. And these ones are their boogin head and they work really well. He's not really able to pull these off. I do have a few that he can pull off. <laughs> And then this is also boogin head, but it is a cup or bottle strap, and I use it for toys. So if he was ever in the stroller, I would strap a toy to here so he couldn't throw it off or it fall on the ground accidentally and him not be able to play with it. And then also in here, it has one of these hooks that you can hook your keys and very easily be able to get them because if you're carrying a baby, if you're carrying a car seat, it is a very hard to get to your keys. Okay, now we're gonna go into this big pocket. I'll actually put these down here so I can really show you everything. Well, before I get to that, I will say these straps are so comfortable. I love diaper bags that are backpacks. I think they're so much easier. The ones that are like a shoulder strap are so difficult. I have one, but I don't use it. Um, I wouldn't want to with carrying Ryder and before when I carried his car seat, the backpack is amazing. And whenever Connor was home, we had the skip hop one and he was able to carry the backpack around and he was comfortable and when I showed him this one he's like I would totally carry that around it is not like too feminine but I also think it's really cute and I didn't want a feminine one since I have a boy but this could go great for if we ever have a girl in the future too and these straps just look at that they're so they're like cushy I love it so much they're so comfortable okay so now we'll go into the big pocket and on the very top, I have some toys for Ryder. He loves the crinkle toy, and he is obsessed with rattles right now. So I have both of those. And then I also have his Sophie. Again, I mentioned this in the Baby Must Haves video. If your baby is teething, especially when they were younger. So Ryder was teething from three months on and he didn't get a tooth until right after he turned nine months old. So yeah, um, this was great for him because he couldn't really hold on to toys whenever he was three months old. So this one was really easy for him to hold on to and get into his mouth and chew on. And he still really likes it. So I bring it everywhere with us and it squeaks. So it's a nice toy for him too. And then I of course have my wallet. I don't carry a purse with me because I have the diaper bag 
everything that I need in the diaper bag. So I just put my wallet in here. And this is a Disney Parks Lounge Fly. I got this back whenever me and my birthday, I think, when me and Connor went to Disneyland when he was still training in California. I cannot wait to be able to go to Disneyland in California. I need this virus to go away so we can move and actually be able to do fun things because I definitely I know they're opening up Disney World and Disneyland may follow after but I don't want to go right now and my baby you can't wear a mask if you're under two so I don't want to go anywhere that he can't go all right <laughs> we'll stop talking about that okay so now I have his blankie um, he has two of these. It's so hard to find these blankies now, and he loves this one. He has another one that's white with stars, but the blue one is his favorite. I've tried to give him other blankets, and he's just not a fan. He has to have this one, so he has two, one that he has with him right now, and then this one that we take everywhere because I always forget to grab the one that's in the house. Okay, and next I have a breastfeeding cover, which I've talked about this cover before. It is from Covered Goods, and I believe I have a code for this still. I will make sure it's still valid, and I'll leave it in the description box in case you want to get this too. Um, and I'll put it on the screen if it is valid. I'm not exactly sure, but I love this cover so much. Even if there isn't a discount code, I would totally get this. I, it's so soft, and it's really lightweight, but it's not see-through at all. So he always fed under this really well and did not get hot and sweaty at all. Okay, I'll show you guys. This is what the inside looks like so there's the big pocket and then there's two on the side and there's pockets back here so yeah, that's what that looks like I'll try and fold this down a little bit so you guys can see next I of course have wipes and we use Huggies natural care writer is very very sensitive so I have to be careful with what I use and then I, of course, have diapers in here. Now, he's been using Loves. He had a really bad diaper rash that went on for, well, diaper rash. That went on for a while, and I took him to the doctor once, and it went away, of course, when I went to the doctor. And so they said it was nothing, and then I went back to the doctor because it flared up like two days later, and the doctor just said, it's just a diaper rash, it's fine. He acted like it was itching, and we did tell a doctor beforehand, and they said yeast infection, so they tried to give him medicine, and they said bacterial infection because that didn't work. None of it worked. So... They suggested switching his diapers because he was using Huggies, and they said a lot of people complained about Huggies, so I did get the Loves diapers, and turns out it was eczema. I discovered that, not the doctors, but I am using these diapers until they are close to running out, I guess, and then I'm going to try to go back to the Huggies because I have a bunch of boxes saved up from Costco because they had a big sale so we'll see and if he has a reaction to them again I'll just go back to the loves but they're really soft but you can see they're super thin I haven't had any issues with them yet he uses the honest company nighttime diapers so I guess we will see I haven't had any problems with them yet but they are really really thin okay now we still have more in this compartment. There is so much room. I have this little bag right here that I have some medicine in. So I have some Tylenol for him, definitely with the teething. I have a little dropper. And then I have some newbie teething soothing gel. This doesn't really help him, but I just keep it in here because sometimes it does. And then I also have some desitin for any diaper rashes. And then we also, of course, have a change of clothes. So I have this little Mickey Mouse romper. I got it from Target. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. It came in a two set with also a 
little Mickey jumper and it's super cute and then a pair of socks. Um, if you have a baby, you know, you need a change of clothes. If there's spit up, if there's pee, if there's a blowout. Whenever he was a newborn, he had blowouts all the time. So we had to change him all the time. Um, and we usually kept like two outfits in his diaper bag, but now we only have to keep one. So yeah, you're definitely gonna need an extra outfit. And then I have a burp cloth. He doesn't really need these as much now. I kind of use them if he gets a runny nose. And occasionally he spits up, but for the most part he doesn't anymore. Whenever he was a newborn and up until like six months old, probably he spit up a lot. So we definitely needed a lot of those, but now I just have one. And then I do have these bibs in here. Now these aren't my favorite bibs, but that's why they're in the diaper bag because I don't have to use them that often. And, okay, so that's the big pocket, and that is how big it is. All of that stuff fit in there. It is so spacious, and I still have more room in these little compartments. So there's these mesh pockets on both sides, and I have some snacks in here for him. So I have some yogis. He sometimes likes these, sometimes doesn't, so I just have them in here just in case. Put those back but these are his favorite. I think these are every kid's favorite. He loves puffs. These are the strawberry apple puffs. So I have these in here and he snacks on those. And then there are also these pockets back here. You can see those. So in this one, I have my favorite kind of bib. It's like this material I don't even know the material but there's a pocket so it catches any food and it is so easy to clean you just wipe it off and you're done the cloth ones you have to wash and they're just not as they get really messy and gross so I love this one and it's really nice to have when you go places because you just wipe it off with a wipe and you're good to go okay I also have a little pocket, passy pocket in here. Whoops. <laughs> it's from Skip Hop and I do have an extra passy in here for him. He uses the man pacifiers. Those are his favorite and he has basically used those from the very beginning. I think he had one Tommy Tippy, but it kept falling out of his mouth within the first week. So we switched him and he's used the man since then. Then I also have some water wipes in case I don't know, I need to wipe his nose or his hands or anything. I can use these. And then in this side, or this back pocket right here, I do have this diaper bag. So it's kind of like a doggy bag that you would take and put, you know, their business in. But this is for the diapers. So if you have to take it somewhere, it doesn't stink. And then finally in this pocket right here, I have a Ziploc bag and this is the best hack ever. We have done this since he was born. We always keep a Ziploc bag in here because if you have a blowout or spit up or pee, where do you want to put the outfit? You don't want to just go and throw it away. So we keep a big Ziploc bag to put it in and then we can put it in the diaper bag or just put it in the car. I mean, if we were out somewhere, we'd put it in a Ziploc bag. And like if we weren't at the car at all and couldn't get to the car, but if we were at the car, we'd put it in the car. So it didn't make the diaper bag stink. But yes, you always need Ziploc bag, Walmart bag. We like the Ziploc bags because you can close it up and it doesn't smell as bad. So yes, this is the best hack ever for blowouts and pee and all the good stuff with babies. And there is one more there's a zipper back here i don't have anything in there but you could put anything in there if you have a smaller wallet i mean my wallet would even i was gonna grab it but my wallet would even fit in here so i could put it in there and make it more like secure i guess but yeah that is the diaper bag i love this diaper bag so much and i'll tell you guys something so before I started using the diaper bag, I had it sitting by my little side table and I went to plug something in. 
Well, I was pumping while I went to plug that thing in and I bent over. I didn't realize that the milk would come out. So it got all over the diaper bag and I was so worried. I was like, I haven't done my video yet. I just got this. I don't want it ruined and it looks perfectly fine. So it's like waterproof. I mean, it didn't even soak into it. It just basically stayed there and I wiped it off. It didn't stain it at all and I got on the white part. I got it on this and yeah, I was very happy with that. So this diaper bag is definitely one you want to purchase. It is spacious. It is organized. So if you want to be organized like me, you definitely want this one. And again, it's super cute. The colors. There's also another version. I'll link it down below too um, that doesn't have the laptop case part, but I like the laptop case part, so that's why I chose this. And don't forget, I'll leave the code on the screen again for you guys, and I'll also leave it down in the description box by the diaper bag link. If you want to get a percentage off, just put it in the promo code box at checkout. So yeah, that is it for today's video. This is everything that is in my diaper bag. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I want you guys to comment down below if you have any like hacks like I mentioned for your diaper bag and let me know if there's anything I don't know. Let all my subscribers know if there's anything, any hacks that you guys have because I'm sure everybody could benefit from some new different hacks for our little ones. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up again. Don't forget to comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet. I'm so close to 500. I'm doing a giveaway at 500, so you definitely want to subscribe. You definitely want to share with all your friends and family. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.